pivoting a little bit here, we're coming up on almost a year now of having the NCAA implement these new NIL rules. Mm -hmm. So from a coach's perspective, how have you seen NIL really impact college athletics in general? Well, I mean, it, it's a huge factor in what we're doing and what's going on. And hopefully it'll be for the right reasons, doing the right things. You always worry that they're for the wrong reasons and people use them as, as a recruiting tool and those kind of things. And But it's here to stay. I mean, that's going to be an impact on guys. And now the thing about in our state, we can't be involved or even know they can't even bring a, something to us and say, Coach, does that make any sense? Which I think is very dangerous because some of these guys don't have the background in business or situations to know. Or don't, and sometimes the home situation isn't quite what it needs to be or as far as – or like I say, big deals like some of these guys are getting, it sounds like across – I mean, we, I know there's some deals across the country. Some guys are getting million-dollar deals. I mean, mm -hmm. my family, we, I would have been foreign to us. We'd had to have somebody to come help us when I was growing up. We'd never known that. But I think it is a big impact on guys. I think it's decision-making as far as uh, what they perceive. And what not worries me about it the most, does it become a distraction? Does it become about the NIL, not about playing ball, not about getting – because I always say this, if you play great ball and you play, they're going to get a bunch of NILs because right. the people want to give NILs to people who are very successful, just like in the NFL. Who does all the commercials? The great players. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you play great and do great, you, you tend to get more. But it is a big factor, and we're navigating. I mean, it, it's a it's new on us each and every day. I, I joke it's like Groundhog Day a little bit because it's all, it's a constant change about how it affects guys who can who can affect them, and they all can go get agents now, which is good because it helps representation. But what do they do? Does you know when it, does it take away from school? So right now it hasn't affected us that way, but you know it's going to be an interesting chore as we go down, and I think. The NCAA is meeting right now or coming up to to try to reg get some kind of regulations or see if they can, and I don't know if they can. So we're all just trying to play it day by day. It's going to be a tough situation right, as far as navigating it. But once I just wish they'd set the rules exactly so we could know how to navigate. Yeah, from an athlete's perspective, I feel like it's very like, I don't know what's right here. I don't know what to do. The rules are very vague right now. So. They are, they're vague, and, and, and you're at a young age. You, you don't expect those things now. It's kind of an unexpected uh it's a great thing, and I, and I like it. Again, I agree. I, players and athletes, males, females, whatever, should get something. There, there is a recourse here that that you should get something, and and how much I don't care, but how you do it, I think the process is what I think, as you're talking about, and I do too. What are the procedures? And each state has its own set of rules. And that's what you got to abide by.